Hey guys, happy Memorial Day. Hopefully you guys are having a good one. Uh, today I want to show you a slick little way to carry secondary knives mostly. Uh, some people may carry only clipless knives. Anyways, I just it's an old school trick that most people probably know, but I know there's a few that don't know. So I'm just showing you first my EDC today. What I have in my pocket is this Manix 2 in the Sprint Run. CTS XHP Steel. Uh, love this knife. I actually got this personally from sale. It's pretty cool. Uh, very sharp. Anyways, tied a little lanyard knot on here. Orange. I'm not sure if I dig the orange or not. I just put it on there. <clears throat> Great knife. Anyways, the video is about secondary knives. And if you just want to carry a slip joint or a clipless knife easily, this is a slick little trick right here. So I've got my cargo shorts here to show you. You can see I got my pin clipped in here. I love cargo shorts. Wallet in this separate pocket here. Anyways, <clears throat> like a squirrel, man, I get sidetracked pretty easily. So this is a case. Gosh, what is this? A trapper? Single blade trapper, I believe, in the CV steel. And uh, anyways, kind of a longer slip joint. See it up next to a cadet. See it's a little bit longer. Nice blade length on it. When you throw it in your front pocket, it sits sideways like that. And you know how your thigh is round. And when this is riding up against it and rubbing it, sometimes, you know, it just, you know it's there. And it's kind of awkward to carry a knife that way. So we mostly, most of us, like clipped knives because they sit up and down in your pocket. So what if you can make your slip joint sit up and down in your pocket? Uh, you can. It's very, very easy with a few safety pins. You can pin your pocket on the inside. I'll pull you in the pocket here and show you what the end result is. So this is, this is a slick little trick. A lot of people have been using this for years. Some people have their wives or they sew uh, a little pocket within your pocket. So if you just took a sewing machine or even by hand and just sewed up this much of your pocket, you can carry your slip joint in your pocket and it doesn't roll sideways on you plus you still have all this pocket to use a normal put your cell phone change whatever if you're gonna put change in it probably roll around here you might want to put another pin or or sew it up make a permanent um, pocket here anyways so inside hopefully you can see what that is when this goes in your pocket it rides up and down in that little clipped area. So, <clears throat> so your knife, your clipless knife, carries straight up and down. So it's not slapping the side of your your uh, thigh when it's going crossway. Now that works for any pants, not just cargo pants, even trousers, anything. It just makes it so it's less annoying. So I can't even feel this when it's in my pocket. Just that difference, the orientation right there. All the difference in the world. And if you have a, a Swiss Army knife or something, you want to keep it on the lanyard, all you have to do is reach down in your pocket, grab that lanyard, and it pulls up and out of that little pocket there. You have no clip showing, you know, granite. <laughs> if you don't have another folder clipped to your front pocket, which I've been carrying in my back rear pocket but to each his own you know so this works for for any smaller knife I would even say a small Sabenza would carry very well this way so if you just want to pocket carry one uh, just put that little two little push pins not push pins safety pins and it will make it right up and down like that all the difference in the world a lot of people have been doing this for years but Never seen a video on it, and when I seen it on a forum one time, I was like, that is a genius idea. So, you can put your, your pins back here. I like it in my front, because when I'm digging in and out of my, say this in my right hand, 
when I'm going in and out of my pocket here. I'm not scratching anything, but of course you could pin up instead of this portion of your pocket, pin up this side of your pocket, and it would slide right down into that little pocket within a pocket you made. It would feel just like you're carrying a clipped folder right here, but really it's your clipless knife. It's a really convenient way to carry a secondary knife or a clipless knife. <clears throat> There's another little trick too, if you're seeing, I did drill a hole in this open hole. Uh, Cause I was experimenting with a different way of carry for this. Usually this, I will show you, I'll just show you on some jeans here. <clears throat> Set these to the side. <clears throat> All right, so this is your watch pocket. My watch pocket, not yours. Anyways, this is a right hand pocket with the watch pocket. Here's a cool little trick. If you want to carry your Swiss Army knife or anything with a lanyard on it for extra security, some people may feel that it will just pop up and out of there. You know, some people carry a lanyard like this. That way they just have to reach down, grab the lanyard, and pull it up and out. That may not be real secure for you, <clears throat> or you may not feel like it's secure. So if you tuck this lanyard behind your belt, <clears throat> that really locks it up when you're actually wearing the jeans because that compresses that. You've got your little lanyard knot or whatever kind of knot. This happens to be a noose knot, like a Chris Reeve style. This could even pop, it's not gonna pop up and out because look, it's locked in there. But let's just say it did. It would still actually hang from there when you're wearing it. Unless you really jostle it around then it's gonna slide up and out. <clears throat> so carrying on that idea a little more, I was like, huh, I wonder if I can carry my open owl in my pocket like a regular folder. I didn't want to pin it. I just was just playing around with the idea here. And I put a longer lanyard on it, slid it up and under the belt, and carried it like that. Hopefully you can see that frame. So that way it rides just like a regular folder. No clip showing. The only thing you see is this little lanyard thing here. Yeah, you've got your noose knot here. This could stay up and down because it's being hung by the lanyard. I didn't like it because, for one, whenever I went to pull the knife up, it was just, and then putting it back behind the belt. Or you could put it here and tuck that like that. I didn't like it. I would much prefer to pin it up, but I just thought I'd show you guys. And some people may be doing this already. This is not as convenient as pinning your pocket as far as carry. Just a few carry options, though. I normally, because I have my lanyard on my Swiss Army knife here like this, cadet, I will carry it like this in my watch pocket. Actually, it's like this. And I fold that lanyard like that. That way, I don't have to dig around and fish around for it. I just pull this little noose. Pops up and out. Put it back in my pocket. <laughs> Haven't lost it. Had this for a year or so. Probably a lot longer than that. Anyways. Carried a lot, you can see. It's a very secure way to carry but the point of the video, if you haven't pinned a pocket yet to carry your smaller clipless knives, or if you want to experiment maybe with carrying a smaller, heck, maybe even Delica sized knife, try it. I would try it both places, here and at the other front half of your pocket. I like the front half towards your inner thigh area the best. Because when you put your hands in and out, you're not scraping on anything. There's no sharp corners of of knives to catch your hand or anything in there. On the inside, plus it's still super easy to get in and out of. Just make sure when you pin it... Well, I still have that knife in there. I pin it so that I still have enough room at the top here for my fingers to grab it. So you can see there's about that much knife poking out. 
So when you're in your pocket, you still have this much to grab and just boom. It's second nature. It's just super convenient way. If I was secure with uh, not worrying about like any small, small percentage of maybe having to use my knife as self-defense carry, I could probably EDC uh, a slip joint style blade. Because honestly, for uh, everyday tasks, they're probably a better choice, but we're all knife nuts, so we all like some, most of us, something with a lock and big and tactical, if we could say that. Whatever. That's the video, guys. Again, hope you guys are enjoying your Memorial Day. We're just hanging out here. Got the grill on and just enjoying life. Hopefully you guys are doing the same. Thanks for watching. See ya.